everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I'm going to do a split cup pour on. I have my uh, five chamber split cup I'm going to be filling here today. And let's go over the paints I'm going to use. I'm not going to just use the basic white for my base coat today. I'm going with the Titanium Buff Light Amsterdam Acrylics. Just a, like an off-white. My next paint is a combination of Folk Art Pearl White. And then I added just a little dab of the Liquitex Basics Silver with that. Just a combination of those two. My next paint is also a combination of Blick Paints Gray and Amsterdam Prussian Blue. Combination of those two. My next paint is Master's Touch Emerald Green. My last color, no, not my last one, excuse me. Um, I have Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. And then my last paint is a combination of Amsterdam Burnt Sienna, Amsterdam um, Ultramarine Violet, and Liquitex Basics Deep Violet, those three. And then I did add a squirt of the um, Liquitex Soft Body Muted Violet to that also. And I will show you that color. It's almost like a a dark cherry color and I will show you consistency right away it just leaves a little trace and then disappears these are a little bit on the thinner side for a, a split cup pour but I want to um, I'm trying the mix today with a little bit thinner paints all my paints today are mixed seven parts mix one part paint uh, and then thinned with water and no silicone is used so what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put my base coat down. I'm going to fill my cup. I'll bring you back, and then we're going to start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've put my base coat down, and... Um, I filled my cup and I will show you. I did uh, put <clears throat> every color in every chamber. I just kind of mixed it up a little bit. And uh, let's do a quick torch here before I start pouring. I did just mix these paints up this morning, so maybe some air bubbles in here. Okay. I don't have a certain plan for this pour, but what I think I'll do is just start up here in this corner and try and bring my paints. Try and start off the canvas here a little bit and then just start my pour. I am hoping to leave some negative space here today if I can. Just going in an up and down motion here. We'll have plenty of paint for this canvas. And I think I will just start coming back up. And back down. And 
and let's just go on the side here. Finish up the paint. And we'll go on the other side. Okay, and I think I will torch this also. And I do have plenty, plenty of paint on my canvas today. And whatever I pour off, I will save as a base coat for another painting. And I will try and get you in as much as I can, all the tipping process going on here. And I think I will tip off this corner here carefully. I do like the red that is showing up there, that violet brown color. Let's see if I can get it to go over. Bring it back. I'm just going to check, see what I have here. What I did is I put in a little squeeze bottle the paint that I made up called Mysterious and I'm going to add it to this painting here a little bit here and there if I can get some to come out here Maybe I'll just follow some of the lines here and just add it in, give the eye a little something extra to look at. And I'll do that again. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more tipping here, probably just back and forth. Remember, I am using the mix today. And I am going to be stretching this out quite a bit. Because the more I find I stretch the, the paints with the mix, um, the better the effect I get. Okay, I'm going to put it back down here and see what I have.
couple of areas I really do like so far. This in here, and I really like that. I do want to keep that uh, violet there, that brownish violet color. And I, I can afford to take some of the paint off this down here because of all the paint. I think that looks the most plain. And let's see what we get with it. Okay, and now I'll bring it back. And I'm going to take another look at it. I'm going to cover the corners here. Make sure they're covered. I do like that negative space I've left up here. And the effects I'm getting up there. I think what I'm going to do is take my skewer and I'm going to run it through the lines that I made just to incorporate them a little more. These, I, not too much though, I, I really do like this effect here. Something like that. And that I do like, I'm not gonna touch that. Okay, I'm just gonna try a little bit more tipping this way. Take a little bit more paint off. And I will bring it back. And I'm going to take a look. Beautiful. I really like how these lines have really um, stretched out there and the effects I'm getting. Let me check my corner here. And here, and I think I will give it a torch. Just beautiful. This center gives the eye something to look at here, that's for sure. Just beautiful. I don't think I want to stretch it anymore. I'm going to clean off the bottom here. And I do think composition wise it would it would go this way. I will turn it around. How I think it would look the best composition wise this way. And I think I will get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. Here is the upper left-hand corner. And just to remind you, this was a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I did a five chamber split cup pour on. And you can just see those beautiful effects that the mix gives. 
You can see just layers and layers on paint there, some transparency going on. This is just going down the left-hand side. Very pretty in here. Excuse the glare there. And this is the lower left-hand corner. I'm gonna take you over the whole painting because it's just so beautiful. And in here, so very pretty where that violet came up there, that brownish violet. And just going back up to the top again. Love how the stripes turned out. And we'll go over to, to this part of the top and just coming down again. Really pretty in here. It's one of my favorite spots. Just a lot going on in here. And this is that spot where I said that the eye would go on this painting. Okay, and then I'm gonna take you all the way over to the bottom right-hand corner here. And we'll just go up the right-hand side. Off camera, I did do quite a bit more stretching. And this is the, uh, this is the area I really like too. Just I left a little bit of negative space up here in the upper right. And I really just like the effects that this gave by stretching it. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would help my channel grow. I want to thank all my subscribers and watchers. I really do appreciate all your support, all your very nice comments. It's very encouraging. So until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.